he came out and he was saying, I was saying to him, I think you need a coach because he'd been having a little fever the day before. And I said, you need to bring your top coat. Uh, it's kind of cool out here. And it was almost like he was saying, oh, I don't really need a coat. But he never got it out. And the shot rang out and hit him right in the tip of his chin and tore half of his neck off. And I don't think he ever heard it. Uh, but it was a horrible time for us because we were just barely making it with his help. And without him, it seemed like all was gone. In fact, we, most of us hope, wished that we had been killed with him because we didn't know how we were gonna make it without him. What we didn't understand though was that it was his spiritual power more than his physical presence that was what we needed. And we have maintained a connection with the spiritual power of Martin Luther King, with his idea of changing the world without violence. And uh, in many ways, we've made more progress in his spirit than we were able to make in dealing with his flesh. I don't think he could imagine in his lifetime that Atlanta would be like this or that we would have Barack Obama in the White House. Uh, and I think he'd kind of say, well, uh, you all didn't think you could make it without me. And I said, no, we couldn't. He said, yeah, but I've been with you all the way. 